Welcome to Get Roaring. I am Rory. NC meeting you here. It's time for some more NHL 20 franchise mode with the Brantford Mustangs. Wait, wait, wait. Stanley Cup champion Brantford Mustangs with your MVP, Patrick Line. That is right. Well, we just finished that season. Good one. Now it's time to go into the draft and see what we can do there. See if we can uh, draft some more champions. Or at least players that we can trade away for other people to win championships. Anyway, something like that. That's that's kind of the point. So we're going to start with the draft interviews and assess our draft picks. Take a look at the board and see what we got this round. Well, obviously the end of the first. And we have three picks and four picks in the second. Got a lot between uh, 32 and 60, 62, somewhere in there. And oh, it's good. It's good. We and trading our pick away. It's like basically a third rounder at that point. Then we got a lot of stuff down, sort of near the bottom. But let's look heavily at the second round. Between 31 and 60, 62. See what we can pick up in terms of potentials. Alright, so this is where we're going to start. See a little competition. Guess some acceleration are not good. You about? Nope. We don't have a good track on pretty much anything here <laughs> so far. There we go, there's something. Here's okay, so there's our there's our first potential. So we got actually double competition. Okay. Okay, well we go with it anyway, because we got a lot of picks and we gotta pick something. There's another one. Kita Chubasov. Six foot three left winger, sniper. Good. Agility. Yes, are we? Strength. Three pro. Interesting. Semi interested in this player, even though they're injury prone. Maybe we interview them, see what's up. So, just here. A lot of sort of injury prone type players. That's weird. Size. This player is probably the closest. 17 year old, set, 6 foot 4, 17. 6 foot 3, 18 years old. Hitting is terrible. That'd be interesting. And I think we had the end of the third round, so that's some players for the first. Basically, we got. 
five players. We might trade down our first rounder and the lower lower pick. If somebody slides, then we'll take a look when we make their first pick at the first the end of the first round there, but Alright, let's sort by potential then. that's not an accurate ex assessment of their potential that level don't know about the puck control so it's potentially good this level here Semi interesting. Guess between one of those two, he is Sundin. He's good competition, but very good goalie. So far, back down to the to the first rounders. That's not happening. It's kind of interesting. Pose. We're in the we're in the really I don't know a category of things. Six, so we've already marked off. Put another pipe in here. Speed and injury prone are, but they rated a C. They don't know much about that player. Player interesting. Quincy Kadri. Asim Kadri's long lost cousin. Ah, uh, sure, why not? This is interesting. A plus level competition. That all looks very good. Let's interview this player. NHL years. Let's go with strengths. Stop. Readiness is always one of the better indicators. Still, f strengths. Uh, okay, so not skating, but in Berglin, four years away. See if that adjusted his understanding of. See, he's a sniper, five nine. We really don't know much about that numbers, but the four years tells me it's kind of. Yeah, we'll leave him on there. Oh, one thing we should do. I always forget to. Gems. That's six foot four defenseman. One of them. Six. 
interview him, see what's up. You know his pin. For interview. This. So we need to know his hairstyle, TA, strengths. Those are usually the common ones I do. Style. Expensive. Readiness. Seasons away. Talk about strengths. Oh, he says skating. Very good. Vandermeer. Three years skating. Interesting. Scout said he does not have quickness. I'm saying his best strength is skating, so mobility, I guess. We don't know. But we'll keep him on there. 96, he might be a good pick. Alright. Go back to potential. Somewhere. And I think this one, doll. Oh, doll we listed before. Let's see if there's anybody here. Trist. Start. There's some weird numbers. like a very like solid low top six forward player. Pavel Chupitsov. Good speed and skating. I guess for 150 it's not terrible. down to the start again. There's some good players in the top 10 this year, man. Pretty good for 99. No. That. Oh, Meester. Ah. Shing time. Chili, no. The Burmese draw looks decent. The grinder. That'd be interesting. Looked like I had the. I wish the skating was better, but it looked like it had some good physicality going there. It's high. Six foot six. Okay. Six. Just because. Skating is weak. Just gonna look for anything that sort of really stands out from here on in. Oh, 
that's 24th, okay. Seventh. Need to play style per usual. Sniper, new topic. Spell. Hopefully, it's either shot or skating. Strengths. Shot. It's like a pretty good player, actually. Sort by our pins. Go. Bottom six sniper. Pretty look good looking player actually. I think they're better than uh, bottom six. Okay. 84. So Obergauer. What's the other one? I wanted Meester? Bowmeester. Obergauer and Bowmeester. We're just gonna go for it. Done our draft interviews. Block. Nineteen year old. Now, for some reason, somebody is going to want uh, Palmieri. Put Palmieri on the block. That's just too much money for what he is. And to Foley as well. 33 years old, 3 years left at 4 mil. It's an 84 though. I mean, hopefully we're selling high. Top 9 forward for 4.5 four mil. We can find better on the open market. So let's, uh, let's get going. Right into the draft. Oh, who are the Hamilton owners going to get? It's going to be a good player. Looks like a good draft. One of these two. Colin. Lighted. Tilbury. Backstrom. Patrick Kane. Playmate. I would probably take. That's tough because Colin has got the size. But he played lower level competition. Yeah, I'd probably take. I take the six foot three center. Let's see if they take Colin. It's just a uh, Tim to our pick because we're not doing this round. No trade offers, so people are not quite interested in our guys. So they did take Colin. Took the big center. Makes sense. Draft class. Our first interest is at 43, so we can trade down. So we want this guy. See, his numbers are good, but we don't. His stats don't look. Let's, let's trade down. Let's see if we can go down to 43. Somewhere below there, obviously. We already have 35, so whatever we get for this, really. 
<sighs> Actually, maybe we use this opportunity to see if we can get rid of um, Palmieri. No trades found. Never mind. He's down to a AHL top six forward. <clears throat> Goodness. Maybe to Foley? I don't know. We can get something out of this. <laughs> we can trade with... Uh, Let's, let's go back to what we're doing. Good to trade down for picks. One off for players. Players and salary. Here we go, second round, 37th and a fifth. 38th and a fourth, some player. The seventh one. Thirty seventh and a fifth. That's better actually, and <laughs> we'll just take this player. A free agent anyways, whatever. Let's trade down. And I don't think anybody will want Palmier. Palmieri and Toffoli. Who aren't willing to take him with the first rounder. It, it sounds unlikely. So let's sim down to our second round pick. Alright. We'll make this pick. We could keep trading down, but that's okay. We'll just make the pick. For Melgan. Funnily enough, I think the Leafs just re signed Melgan for like league minimum. Just keep picking with our picking the ones we decided upon. Again, I could do a lot of like bumping down to make sure that I get picks just below them and all that stuff. I don't want to get that granular here. Earnestly, uh, NHL 21 is around around the bend, so I'm looking forward to that. And we'll, we'll get as much of this in before we, we get there, but as soon as NHL 21 comes out, I'm going to be starting a franchise there, because I'd like to see what what's involved in the new franchise mode. Glad we won a cup. I'm glad about that. Next one is 62. Bill had one in the second round. Actually, then which one do I want? I go for this guy. All right, where's our next pick? Picks does Hamilton have in this round? <clears throat> Let's take a look at the draft board. It's probably the easier way. Projected picks. The 
20th and the 3rd. 20th and the... Endermere. This one I'm looking at. 95. You're coming in somewhere around here. There's our pick there. Good, like Obergar there. So we'll the eighty two pick up Obergau. Now we wanted Vandermeer. It's next. Vandermeer is ninety five. So do we have a pick before ninety five? We're 83 and then 12 picks. We're like at the start of the fourth round. Okay, so. Once. 95. Ninety-five. So we want to trade for probably like ninety-two. Two, three, forty-five, eighty, seven. Ellie wants to trade. Could try and sneak it in the fourth round. Hamilton does want to trade that pick. Ellie. Find a trade. At the end of the third round, the pick won't have as much value. Sangalese for third pick. Karen and a fourth. Been expiring contract in a fourth rounder. Sure. Oh, did I take a pick that was like. Oh, that was the one. No, no. I'm just crazy. Okay. Alright. Them options, the 92nd pick. Vander me. Stuff. Okay, the next pick that we wanted. Vermistra. Interesting. We have a pick around that area. It's just. Roll the dice. Is there anybody below him just in case? Bowmeister, fellow. Bowmeister, I definitely want to get 160. Alright, so let's just roll the dice. Let's see if we can get. Nope. Could have bumped up, but it's okay. It's not the end of the one. Just go with Bowmeister here. Do, do, do. Berglund. This player like hybrid. Potential's high. 
this is not like last year where it's a, or, uh, until 2019 where you just get some bunch of uh, elite goalies and then just trade them for high-end players. Not happen anymore. Let's go with Quincy Kadri. Finish off our picks with whoever looks good. Pin under that look. Pick Chubasov. Oh, oh. Zuccarello and Dumoulin. You want to take. You want to take 8 million expiring contracts for a six rounder? Now I have to decide, I'm going to see if I can, this is my last chance to ditch some contracts or just losing them outright. So do I want to trade some peeps? Nobody was willing to offer me anything. Um, Toffoli, I think I got to get rid of. See what people are willing to offer for him. Third rounder and Rasmus Anderson. A four D eighty one. Too much money. Were they just giving it to me because I needed to get rid of peeps? But I don't know. Let's sort by age. Let's see what Yonk there, yeah, Rasmus Anderson, they were willing. That's what I think the trading value was worth. I will take the Holmstrom fellow and probably a draft pick. <laughs> you guys traded away all your draft picks. Let's try that. I don't think that It's okay. Not sufficient. But right, let's just do this. Good. Getting rid of some salary there. Let's try. Um, see if anybody is interested in Palmieri. I doubt it. I mean, we could always just buy him out, but it's not at value. I just need one team in the green. Hope he's got salary space. Okay. Is left on Ovechkin's contract. Take Ovechkin over him. <clears throat> All right, let's see what. Let's try again. Anyway, let's go with um, 
See if anybody will take him. Somebody with space in both contract and money. Right up to the barrier there. We go Pittsburgh. You're hopeful. We got. Don't mind if it's like similar contract but shorter term. All in white. It's rated highly. I mean, a top nine anything would be fine. Brat. He rated so low. Don't have a good idea. Sort by. that I would do that we just add in like a pick that you guys want or something give you a seventh Vancouver Anybody you want to trade? Anybody in the red? <laughs> Hoffman So funny he was a free agent last season They're like yeah. Uh. And uh They signed him and then they were like Hey you, you want to trade for him? It's like, I just signed him man Look for this uh, R. Lowry. Not that I'm really particularly interested, but player. Oh. Problem with trading during the draft when it isn't your pick and you can't like call a bunch of timeouts. Back to. Just like throw a pick on there for next year. And our third round pick. Somebody take the contract for a third. just have to buy them if unless somebody just takes them for absolutely nothing but I haven't been asking for much Paul Mary go with Anaheim except trades Zuccarello at one year will you do that let's do that Firing contracts. Have yourself a deal. So basically, I just got rid of them for nothing. <laughs> That's fine. Better than buying them out. Our next pick. Go. Tivo. Question is, is do I want to trade to Foley for someone younger and cheaper? 
before I move along. Or did I? I don't remember. Let me double check. Oh, so I got no pins. Let's just go with highest potential. <laughs> Landon Kong. Let's just go. <clears throat> Let's just go with our scout ranks. We're recommending this fellow. Normally, the scout recommendations are kind of. They don't recommend like who's good around there. They just say like, "Hey, these three guys." Sure. There we go. There's somebody. Scout rankings. This fellow. Let's see if we see anything interesting. Goalies are always easy to go for because they got three statistics and a whole bunch. Anybody good at skating? Anybody at all? There we go. Center six foot three. Good enough. More about this person. There we go. That okay. Did I want to? Did I want to? I guess I already did. Great. Uh... <laughs> okay, good. So Zuccarello is gonna expire. We basically just gave away Palmieri, but that's fine. He was like the AHL top six. Maybe he'll improve, but for that money for three years, fine with that. Stone. Okay, Pacho is fine. Maldi. Oh, these are all expiring. Expiring. Lindell, Trano. Good. We're gonna have a bunch of resigning to do. Alright. Some options. Oh, we still have a pick. The last pick of the draft. Let's sort by our scout ranking. Look, interest. See if there's like a monster available. Six foot six. You. Do we know anything about these guys? Anybody have like a, there we go a plus competition let's go MLR last pick of the journey right. well that's it for today thanks for joining me have yourselves a good one hit like if you enjoyed it hit subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you next for the off season have yourselves a good one.